Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. Let's start the updates with a company that I'm always keeping an eye on it, Stock Space. They completed series of wagerous rehearsal tests for Hopper 2. Now Stock Space team are planning to perform static fire tests. Next, Stock Space co-founder Tom Fieldman reacts. He said Hopper is getting close to hoping a huge issuer at the same time we have first stage pre-burner pre-burning first stage pumps balancing first stage tanks welding thrust chambers frosting and tons of beautiful learning along the way today at starbase and captured from la padres rover 2.0 camera we saw ship 25 mounted on booster 9 or we can say starship b9 s25 stack as always two spacex drones on the air one to capture some nice footage to be posted later and the other one to make sure both ship and booster are positioned during stacking. Hope this one will make it to low earth orbit and splash down successfully before the end of this month. Now let's wait for the next closure update. From Starbase to the Western Pacific Ocean, Galactic Energy launched their Ceres-1 rocket, this time from DFU 15002 CIA launch platform carrying four Tianqi satellites. Let's hear the sound. It was the nice successful launch for CRS-1 and the first one from Sea Launch Platform. All nine launches to Sun Synchronous Orbit but the next launch to low earth orbit carrying re-entry capsule before moving next year from Ceres-1 to a bigger rocket capable of carrying 5 tons to low earth orbit we are talking here about Pallas-1 that's it for now this is the end of this episode see you tomorrow